The average Australian family generates 15 tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions every year just by living in the house. And most of that comes from electrical appliances you're barely even aware you're using. Hi, I'm John Dee and this is Tipping Point. This is one of the biggest culprits. Your fridge and freezer are responsible for a good chunk of your power bill. Modern fridges are much more efficient than older ones, so if you're looking for a quick way to make a big cut in your greenhouse emissions, buy a new fridge. Now, if you don't know how old your current fridge is, check the label or ring the manufacturer. If it's made before 1993, it has to go. But don't just chuck it. Make sure the old unit is properly recycled. But even among new fridges, some are far more efficient than others. And the easiest way to find the best model is to go to the government's energy rating website. There, you'll find a comprehensive evaluation of fridges and other white goods, as well as air conditioners. White goods have to carry an official energy label. This is basically a simple instant reckoner that allows you to judge the performance of one brand against another. More stars means the appliance is more energy efficient and costs less to run. If you buy a six star fridge rather than a three star one, some models will save you up to half a ton of greenhouse gas a year, not to mention quite a few dollars too. Now, not all white goods are worth replacing. Dryers, for instance, have hardly changed. Dishwashers, though, use less than 65% of the power they once did. And front-loading washing machines are usually much more efficient than top loaders. Unfortunately, not all electrical goods are star rated. That makes it very difficult to work out their greenhouse and energy usage costs. The big new greenhouse monster on the scene, though, is the plasma TV. Plasma televisions use up a large amount of electricity, far more than most people realize. So if you want a big screen for your home, make sure you buy an LCD screen like this, as they use a lot less power. But to wrap up, there are two simple things that we can all do. The power-saving options in computers are very rarely used, so make sure you use yours. But the most sensible thing you can do is to switch off all electrical goods when they're not in use, especially when you go to bed. That doesn't just save the planet, it keeps your house safer too. I'm John Dee for The Weather Channel. See you next time. Hi, John Dee again. To find out more about this episode of Tipping Point, log on to weatherchannel.com.au.